What is up guys? My name is Everyone's Pleb and today we're going to take a look at the game All Beyond Online. It's in its final beta and it's releasing on July 17th and as you can see I'm sitting here on the test server to kind of show you and talk to you about how to spend your learning points in the game as effectively as possible. So first things first I'm going to kind of show you kind of my, my character and the traits that I focus on. I'm actually a T6 uh, Great Holy Staff healer currently, um, but in the test server, I'm T5 still. Um, but we'll go ahead and hop on the Destiny board here. Actually, I think I am T6 um, on the test server as well. Uh, yeah, I am. I am T6. I just don't have T6 gear on. Anyways, so I'm a T6 Great Holy Staff healer, which I focus on Great Holy Staffs, uh, Cloth Fighter Cowl, and Cloth Fighter Robes as well as um, tier six night boots. So anyways, now to talk about how to spend your learning points effectively. So before I kind of talk about the specifics of your skills and what to spend those learning points on and what things are most important to spend those on, uh, I wanna kind of talk about gathering and know and know how to spend those learning points because when the game first releases it's going to be a quick race to the top tiers of gathering because everyone is going to want to retrieve those high tier resources and put them on the auction house as quickly as possible for as much profit as possible so in this scenario as you can see here i focused on mining i don't focus my uh, interest on other uh, gathering skills as a very easy and obvious reason. So for the first uh, requirement here for Journeyman's Fiber Gatherer, it is only five learning points to bypass the rest of the fame requirement. But as you progress, it increases significantly from five to 40 to 130 to 260 to 400 and finally 467. Well, in order to achieve those learning points, which you can see here I have 240, you have to have premium status in the game, which you retrieve two or excuse me, 20 learning points per day. So as you can tell, learning points are pretty crucial uh, to your character and pretty uh, scarce as you only retrieve uh, 20 learning points per day. Those learning points can be spent or achieved by spending gold and or silver. In this scenario, I don't uh, have any offers available to spin silver, but on the live test server or the live servers right now that are taking place for the beta, you can spin silver in order to retrieve further extensions to your premium status. Now let's go ahead and hop back over here onto the Destiny board and take a look at. Uh, the traits that I focus on specifically. So when it comes to spinning your learning points in terms of fighting and in terms of leveling up your gear as efficiently as possible, you want to focus on a few things. So before I get into those, let's take a look at the, the differences between your armor and on your weapon specifically. So if you take a look here at your weapon, I'm a priest fighter and I am level 32 as it stands. In order for me to achieve level 33, I'm required to spend 12 learning points. Um, now this is interesting because in order to achieve that tier, it, it is uh, much higher than it would be in order to achieve the next tier for my armor. So in order to level up my helmet, my cloth fighter cow, which is already level 34, I only need to spend four learning points to level that armor to the next uh, level. So when it comes to spinning your learning points effectively, you're going to want to focus on your weapon as opposed to spinning learning points specifically on your armor. Now another thing that is very um, confusing and often wasted by uninformed players is they decide to spend their learning points on specialties or masteries as they're called. So if you take a look here, you have your basic weapon proficiency here, and then you also have a mastery associated with that, or a specialist. Now, as you can see here, I've, I'm already surpassed the minimum fame requirement to level my character to the next level. 
As I'm 23, I can move to 24. But I'm not going to go ahead and waste these learning points to do that because I can easily achieve those specializations over time just from killing things. The things that are most important is to spend those learning points on the staffs and or you know weapon that you're using because those are going to take far more fame and, and far more effort to, to move to the next level as opposed to your armor, which requires less learning points. So you definitely want to focus on the weapons as opposed to your armor. See, um, the cow level 34 only requires four learning points. The staff still requires 12 at 32. My armor is 32 and it only requires six as opposed to 12, which is 50% less in terms of learning points as um, my weapon. So you definitely want to focus your learning points on your weapon. And then if you have any extra learning points that you want to spend, you're welcome to go ahead and spend those on your armor. But you definitely don't want to waste those learning points on your specializations because those are just going to slowly, or not slowly, quickly drain your learning points um, away. So I have 240 here, which I could easily waste away on you know, specializations and my armor but I'm obviously saving those specifically for my weapon and you know armor accordingly. Another thing that's really important is to not um, waste your learning points on traits that you're not necessarily going to use. So in this scenario here, when I started the game, I kind of decided that I wanted to focus on daggers, but um, later on I found that I had far more interest in the Holy Staff and you know Cloth Fighter um, gear as opposed to leather which you can see down here so i obviously wasted my learning points and i could easily spend my learning points here uh, to level up to level three in dagger fighter but i'm obviously not going to waste those learning points to move it up to the next tier or next level excuse me um, another thing though that you do want to focus on uh, which i already touched on was gathering and as well as crafting in my scenario, I'm associated with a guild, so the amount of crafting that I do is very minimal because I can rely on guild members which already have achieved a high tier in crafting and I can give them resources in order to craft those items. But if you are a solo player and someone that wants to focus on being more of an individualist, you can also um, focus on the things that are associated with your weapons. So obviously I'm a holy staff user, I use cloth cowls and I use cloth robes as well as um, uh, plate boots or yeah, plate boot fighter. So if you go ahead and take a look over here in the crafting section, I focused my crafting on holy staffs, uh, cloth crafting and as well as cloth robe crafting because that way I can further sustain myself as opposed to spending more of, and more money in the auction houses. Um, this isn't necessarily true in terms of higher tier gear as the cost for crafting um, rapidly increases as you move further and further up in the tier um, because you know tier five, tier six, tier seven gear, the items required to craft that gear run between, you know, 500 GP on the low end to, you know, 4K or 4,000 silver per, per um, plank or per, per cloth, um, depending on the tier. So it definitely goes hand in hand with gathering as you want to definitely make sure you're gathering the associated gear um, to your character. In my scenario, obviously I'm gathering uh, ore, which is not associated to cloth or um, you know priest gear. But I have a clan which you know helps to gather or excuse me helps to craft the items that I uh, use. If you take a look here, you can see that um, when it comes to refining resources, I've kind of been spread across the board and not necessarily focused on a specific trait. That's just because I have a clan that kind of helps me. I keep kind of using the word clan, and I'm sorry for those solo players out there that don't necessarily are, are, are I, excuse me, guild. I shouldn't even say clan. Wow. Anyways, guild. Uh, but uh, those solo players out there, they definitely want to focus specifically on the things associated with their fighting class. So if you're fighting with, you know, 
a fire staff or you're fighting with great axes, then you want to focus on, you know, mining, you want to focus on ore refining, you want to focus on crafting, you know, great axes. And, you know, if you're being tanky, you want to be plate armor, etc. So it's all about focusing your traits to the things that you are going to use. Because if you don't, you're going to be end up wasting and running out of learning points and be stuck in this continuous circle of waiting every single day of the week for more and more learning points in order to unlock the next tier um, after fame farming. So other than that, guys, my name is Everyone's Pleb, and I really hope this video helped you out and helped you understand how to effectively spend those learning points and instead of wasting them away on things that you aren't necessarily going to use and helped you understand what is the most important things to spend them on, such as weapons, gathering, and crafting. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. My name is Everyone Pleb. Everyone's pleb and peace.